Hey, what's up guys, Gamfi here, and welcome to episode 9 of Messi's Mission. This series has finally become consistent, I'm uploading a lot of episodes, it's amazing, I can't believe I'm actually doing that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series, let me know if you are in the comments below, and also guys, can we smash over 300 likes for this episode, that would be absolutely awesome. Anyway, we're just going to get straight into it and hopefully get a bunch of upgrades in this episode. So we're going to start off with the Argentina side, and the reason we're going to do that is because... Actually, pretty much because I clicked on that team before I did the La Liga one. So that's why we're starting with this team. And, um, yeah, we've just got a few upgrades to do before we're on to the goal players, which is pretty damn awesome. Just four upgrades to do, so hopefully we can get some in this episode. So we come up against this. I saw the chemistry, I was like, yes, and then I saw the team, I was like, no. Because remember, the last episode, it was a Mexican slash Colombian team that actually did the damage to me and gave us the loss. So, uh, yeah, I was hoping for the best. But my nerves were settled pretty early when Bravo puts this ball into the back of net in the 17th minute to make it 1-0. After that, I was pretty confident that we could run away with the victory, especially when I've got someone like Messi who can cut through defences like this. Like, even the best defensive Messi can do that too. That is why I love playing with him, because his dribbling is so good, and he's, he's just so agile, he's so fun to dribble with. And obviously he can finish very well once he's around the defenders, which he does here, making it 3-0 in this game with a nice finish around the hair. And then once again, just strolling through the defense, good bit of pace, doing really well to be honest. Does get shoved off the ball by a very quick, very strong per uh, perrier, but uh, gets in the right position and puts the ball in the back. And it was a bit of a sweaty goal, but I want the extra upgrades. I want to get more upgrades in this series and get this series moving on quicker. And uh, sadly, Justice, Karma, whatever you want to call it, he goes and scores. Yep. Don't sweat people, kids. It's not good. But uh, we do go ahead and hit straight back. Bravo plays the ball to Romero, who actually finishes really, really well. First time shot to make it 5-1. And then the ball gets placed to Ozon, who plays it out wide eventually to Acosta. And then um, I probably should have passed this to Messi, but Acosta goes himself and makes it 6-1. Happy days. Pretty much a thrashing. Credit to this guy, though. He didn't quit, which is uh, full credit to him. Maybe it would have been better for us to get the extra upgrade, but still, I will take it. Anyway, three upgrades for each of the goals Messi scores, plus, the, plus uh, one for the bonus upgrade, plus the match win, so we do have five upgrades to do. I've got my maths right this time, I think. Anyway, the first player we're going to upgrade. Obviously, we did have the decision in the last episode. We had the vote between Vieta and upgraded Diabla. Uh, no, Di Diabala, is that how you say it? I'm, I'm terrible at names. And, uh, yeah. He cost me quite a lot, guys. This is the guy who won the vote, so I hope you guys are right about that because I paid a lot for him. Anyway, moving on to the midfielders. Sadly, it's goodbye to Romero. We're going to bring in this guy, Fallin, who I loved last year. Hopefully, he'll be pretty good this year. Going to put him on the right because he is left-footed. And then finally, we're going to bring in Trajer, who um, I'm a bit... He looks good, but I'm a bit sceptical about him because of his high-low records, but we'll see. And then the final silver upgrade, we're going to bring in Roger. And we're gonna, uh, no, we're gonna get rid of him, sorry, and we'll bring in Cabrera. And actually, we're gonna straight upgrade him to Zabaleta. Now, you're gonna be wondering, why have we got a rare gold player in the team? There is no non rare gold right back, so we had to go straight to rare gold in this occasion. So, um, yeah, it's pretty nice to have a rare gold player in the team, put it that way. But um, sadly, there was no non rare gold Argentina right backs for me to choose from. Anywho. Let's actually move on to the other team in the series, which is, of course, the La Liga side, which, if you remember in the uh, previous episode, I forgot to do an upgrade, so here it is. We're going to say goodbye to Pasalic, and we're going to bring in this guy, Tr uh, Trigueris. Wow, I've messed up so many names in this episode. Sorry, guys. I'm trying my best. Anyway, this is the team we'll come up against. It's a Road to Glory team, apparently. It's a BPL, very sweaty team. William, Remy, Benteke. All your usual suspects with Mangara and Koscielny. Very OP goalkeeper in net. And I was a bit worried about it, to be honest. Obviously, with having a silver keeper, that always does have me worried. But uh, Messi shows some really good footwork, dribbles around the defence, finds a gap, and puts the ball in the back of net. He makes a big error here with Mangala. Messi shows some really good strength there. But we couldn't take full advantage. And that was like the third time in the match that Messi had hit the post. So I was quite worried, uh, to be honest. Which is, um, yeah, when you start in the post like that... It does start to worry that this game isn't going to go your way. But then Messi settles my nerves and makes it 2-0 just before half time. Before the ball gets played to Messi again. And then we actually get a penalty for this. Which I've put the replay on because I'm not too sure about this one. I mean, Messi does get taken out. But Messi's the player who takes out Sanya first. Who in turn takes out Messi. So um, I, I don't know. I thought that was a bit harsh. But um, fair enough. I'll take it. Messi gets the penalty. Steps up. And uh, you guys probably know what's coming. Yep. Nice little dink down the middle, and Messi rounds up his hat-trick in style. Very, very nice hat-trick for Messi, and he rage quits. So, uh, yeah, no complaints from me. Messi got three goals, plus one for the uh, hat-trick upgrades. Uh, sorry, I'm completely messing this up. Three upgrades for the three goals he scored. A bonus one for, um, obviously, getting the hat-trick. Another bonus one for the match win, and another bonus one for the rage quit. So, overall, six upgrades, which is pretty damn nice. Which means we get to bring in a lot of goal players, which is also very, very nice. So in goal, we're going to bring in Gaita out right back. We're going to bring in Neom, who uh, is apparently a really OP right back. Haven't used him this year. 
And um, the centre back we're going to get rid of is uh, Angeleri, and we're going to bring in Martinez, who is a uh, you guys all know he's pretty damn good. We're going to say goodbye to the midfield that we brought in earlier, and we're going to bring in Gabby because he's awesome in this game. And then sadly we're going to say goodbye to both wingers, who we're going to bring in Susayeta, who is a uh, really OP. I do like using that guy. And at left wing we're going to bring in Gomez. So before we end this video, I want to apologise for my terrible attempt at pronouncing some of these players' names because, um, yeah, I just I suck at that. But anyway, guys, can we smash over 300 likes for this episode? That'd be absolutely awesome. If you have missed any episodes, make sure to check out the playlist in the description. And apart from that, in the comments, let me know what non-red goal players you want to see in the Argentina side and for the rest of the spots in the La Liga side. Apart from that, have a very good day. Adios.